$187 a horse? You know how much an actual horse costs? How can they offer the public that much power for not that many monies? I popped my ears when I did that. There are a lot of great new cars, but which new car is the best value when it comes to power, baby? Today we're gonna find out. We're talking dollars per hearse purse. I'm James, this is the Monolist, and this is the d d d d list A big thanks to the Zebra for sponsoring today's video. Ugh, how do I fix this thing? Hey, replace the so-and-so with a new such-and-such and, such and she'll run like new. Are you a car expert? No. I'm an everything expert. Oh, I forgot about my chess game. Queen to R5. That's why I use the Zebra, the nation's leading car insurance comparison site. No matter who you are or what you drive, their licensed insurance agents can find a policy that fits your needs. And as your needs change, their experts will still be there to help keep you covered. Oh, this is awful. That's gonna need salt, Nolan. Whoa. And the Zebra could save you over $400 a year on car insurance. You don't need to be an expert to see why that's amazing. So go to thezebra.com slash dlist today to compare quotes and find your perfect policy. Oh yeah, I guess I am an everything expert. Whew. Another hole in one. All in a day's work, baby. Guys, I found it. It was in the hole the whole time. Guys? In this video, we're going off of 2022 MSRPs, but as we all know, MSRPs are meaningless because society is broken, everything's fake, and dealers can charge whatever they want. You'll own nothing and like it. Now just to set a baseline, the absolute cheapest new car that you can buy in America today is the Chevy Spark. It has an MSRP of $13,600 and makes a whooping 98 hertz per. Do the math. That is $139 dollars per hearse. Now on the other side of the spectrum, a brand new Lamborghini Machine Aventor SVJ costs $517,000. It has a 6.5 liter V12 that makes 760 horsepower. But crunch those numbers and you wind up with 681 per hearse per. Worse value than a Chevy Spark. Makes you think. Well, let's be honest. Chevy Spark isn't the most exciting sports car in the world and the Lamborghini isn't exactly budget minded. So let's talk about everyone's favorite budget-ish sports car, the 2022 GR Supra. Now the cheapest Supra available today has a two liter inline four. That's the exact amount of Mr. Pib that Nolan drinks after lunch. But with the help of a little spinny boy turbocharger, this Pibster makes 255 hearse purse with a starting price of around 43 grand. That gives us a dollar per horsepower of $169. But just because the four cylinder one is the cheapest Supra, doesn't mean it's the best value because you can also get it with a three liter six cylinder. It costs 8,000 more dollars, but this three liter Skeeter has a dollar per hearse per of 135 bucks. Sorry, Spark. You've been usurped from the top of the monolith. Super Rain's king. For now. I mean, is the Supra really even Toyota's best bargain? Well, let's take a look at his little brother, the GR86. It makes less power, 228, but it also costs less money. 27 grand MSRP. That gives us a ratio of $121 per hearse. But neither of those flagship sports cars is even Toyota's best value. Allow me to introduce the TRD Camry as in Toyota Racing Development. That's right, they did a turd on a Camry. And this sensible sedan means business with 301 horsepower coming from its V6. It costs a little over $32,000, giving it a dollar per horsepower of $108. That's a value. Now, since we're talking about affordable front wheel drive sports cars at this point in the video, let's see where Honda stacks up. Now, the toppest dog offered by Honda is, of course, the Civic Type R every pirate's favorite car. It's supposed to start at $38,000. Here's a used one that I found at a dealership that's listed for $64,000. 64 American thousand dollars 
for a used Honda. Now we have a whole series uh, on this show about the absurdity of the used car market. And if you think dealerships are out of hand, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you like that kind of stuff, we make that kind of stuff. You should check it out. Anyway, 306 horses live inside of the Civic Type R's two liter engine. If somehow you found one that isn't double the MSRP, uh, that gives you a DPH of $124. But it turns out the Type R isn't Honda's best value for power at all. It's not the Civic Si either. It's not even an Accord. The best dollar per horse Honda we could find was the Odyssey LX. This minivan has $118 per horse per. I didn't want to include this Odyssey on this list, all right? It's a list about sports cars, but the Honda Odyssey is the monolith's favorite car. Uh, and he had a whole team of lawyers threaten me, so I didn't have a choice. Right. Now let's check back in. The turd Camry is still on top, but which car company is finally gonna step up and kick this sedan off the mountain? Is it Hyundai with the Veloster N? Nope, 118, tied with the Odyssey. Maybe VW with the GTI, not even close, 123 bucks, barely even a value. I wish I would've spread these out more. Let's try the Subaru's WRX. This boxer boy makes 268 Hurspurs. Starts at $27,000, giving us a dollar to power of a dollar three. Boom! King of the list! For now. And I think it's time to step it up a notch. We got a lot of congestion down here. The new Z-Boy is coming out next year and we're fired up about it. It looks sick and it's gonna have a 400 hertz per twin turbo V6. Uh, super killer much? And you can get it with manual. So what's the price tag gonna be on this 400 hertz per Z. Well, Nissan says it's gonna cost $40,000. That's $100 per hertz per, ladies and gents. A cool, crisp, even number, finally. We can do better than that, all right? Let's move on to Inglewood's favorite muscle car, a vehicle known for making way too much horsepower for the amount of money that it costs. I am, of course, talking about the Dodge Challenger. But which Challenger is the best value. Let's start with the king of the pack, the super stock. Now this makes the most power out of any current Challenger. 807 hertz per, but it costs $84,000. That's $1.4 per hertz per. But downgrade to the Hellcat Red Eye, and you save about 10 grand. And with 797 horsepower, we're all of a sudden only spending $94 per horsepower. We're in the double digits, guys. You can't afford not to get one of these. Now downgrade again to a regular old grandpa Hellcat, and you're looking at $66,000 MSRP. That gives you a dollar per power of $93. But again, let us downgrade even further to the pack. One of the coolest cars named after Pooh. Unlike the other challengers on this list, the Scat Pack does not have a supercharger. It has a naturally aspirated 6.4 liter V8 that makes 485 hearse purrs. That's 322 horsepower less than the Superstock in the same car. Yes, but it's also $41,000 cheaper. So the humble Scat Pack has a DPH of just $89 per horse. That's a cheap horse. You go to the fair, you see him lined up, you say, how much is that one? They say $89, you say, Daddy, that's a cheap horse. But Dodge ain't the only car company selling powerful, cheap cars. Ford has a lot of different Mustangs, and they put down some pretty good power for the price, too. Now, on the expensive end of the spectrum, over here, you got the GT500, which makes an absolutely normal, usable 760 horsepower. It costs 73 grand, meaning the GT500 gives you $96 per horsepower. That's a bargain. But on the cheaper side of the Mustang spectrum, you can buy a four-cylinder EcoBoost for only 27,000 bucks. A car people made fun of the EcoBoost for years. That there Ford ain't have no V8, so it ain't a real Stang, that's what they said. They said it all over the place. They made t-shirts and everything. And honestly, I don't think it deserved much hate to begin with because that four banger Stanger makes 310 horsepower, giving it a ratio of $88 per hearse per. First place, better value than a poop pack Dodge. Surprisingly, there's another Ford 
that's an even better value. The GT's famous five liter V8 makes 460 hertz per. That is more than enough to have a good time. Believe me, I've never even owned a car with that much power. And you could walk into an imaginary Ford dealership that honors MSRP values and buy this Stang for 36 grand. Good luck, but theoretically you could. What's that give us? A value of $79 per hearse pair? You know how much an actual horse costs? Do you know how much land you need to maintain 460 livestock animals? Good on you, Ford. But even still, the list ain't done. I just popped my ears when I did that. We still gotta talk about Chevy, but first I wanna give honorable mention to Rivian. Now we thought about including more trucks on this list or more EVs, but we decided people don't really buy trucks for hearse pair. However, the Rivian R1T is very quick. It makes 835 electric buffers, buff hearses, and costs 67 grand, giving it a ranking of $81 per electric horse. That's better than any other truck that we could find. And it's got a little pocket on the side that you can fit a Jimmy in. And with that out of the way, can Chevy make it to the top of the monolist? First off, the Corvette is a pretty good value for what it is, but don't waste your time. It's $126 uh, dollars per hearse per. Moving on. If you're looking for serious budget power, you're gonna wanna get yourself a Marrow. A Camaro. And the biggest chonger in the lineup is the ZL1, which makes 650 buff Bumblebee horses. It's 63 grand, that's $97 per pony. And just to be clear, that's before you factor in the gas guzzler tax and the destination charge and also getting completely, completely reamed by the dealership. Just reamed. But you don't have to pay a gas guzzler tax on the V6 Camaro 1 LT. It makes 335 horsepower. It only costs 27 grand. So it ties with the Rivian at 81 bucks per pour. We're not even done! Chevrolet beat the Mustang GT's insane value. Let's crunch some numbers and find out. Fact number one, the Chevy Camaro LT1, not to be confused with the one LT that we just talked about, has a 6.2 liter V8 that turns out 455 hearse purse. Fun fact number two, the Chevy Camaro LT1 has a starting MSRP of $34,000. Let me just do uh, a little math here. $75 per horsepower. The greatest value on planet Earth. And that is the last Chevy you'll see on this list. In fact, that's the last car you'll see on this list. Check out the all new donut sticker pack. Five of your favorite donut designs ready to stick anywhere and I mean anywhere. They stick to your bumper, your window, your laptop, a water bottle, a lunchbox, your locks bunch, your best friend's back. Slap the beans on some bean. Put Yoda's tacos on a taco. RIP on some pop-ups. Slap your love for donut anywhere you want. Go to donutmedia.com and grab your pack today. And that's not all, we got a new hat, I'm wearing it. Next time you're off-roading out in the sticks, don't get lost. Find yourself with this all new Find Yourself Donut hat for just $24.98, which is so much cheaper than $30. And hurry up because this merch is insano style and it's gonna sell out quick. Donutmedia.com, go now. If you like learning about ridiculously overpowered cars, check out this episode of the D-List. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, it really helps us out. Hit the subscribe button, go to donutmedia.com. I'm really excited about our merch program. New stuff every week. I love you.